Hello everyone, today I have another review for a really fantastic duffel bag. This is by the company Bago that specializes in lightweight travel bags. The unboxing I'm doing right now in this tiny compartment is actually a 40 liter sports duffel bag. Its purpose is to not only function as a regular duffel bag, but to be affordable and collapsible down to this small size that you can easily stash it in another bag when it's not in use. The color I have here is this turquoise blue color. You can see it on the Amazon listing product page, which I'll put the link in the description as usual for you guys to check out. They have plenty of other colors to choose from. What I would use this particular bag for, it's comparable to my Under Armour duffel bag, which I use for the gym. You can check out that video. The link is going to be at the end of this video as a thumbnail if you're interested but this one is not only good for everyday use but it's also great for travel so because it is so compact when it is empty you can stash it in another bag say a suitcase so once you reach your destination you can unfold it back up to use it for something else uh, maybe to carry other things for you traveling there or to bring back souvenirs for example on your way back the material they chose is a strong, lightweight, hexagonal pattern material that's also water resistant, which reminds me of my old High Sierra backpack that I have also reviewed quite a bit, and that material was really great against the rain. Now this blue color, among all the colors that you can choose for this particular bag, is this hexagonal pattern, but if you do choose um, this gray color or this other darker blue color on the website, um, it's actually made a little bit different. You can see it's not the hexagonal pattern anymore, but I would assume that the form and function is still the same as these other colors. So now I'm going to give you a tour of this bag, starting with the side that has the bag logo on it. There's a single opened small side compartment that you can put for smaller, flatter items, and it extends pretty much to the very bottom of the bag. The other side is a vertical zippered compartment. Again, it pretty much extends all the way to the bottom of the bag. You can fit, again, flat or smaller items in this compartment. Rotating at 180 degrees is another small horizontal pocket for other smaller items. And then there's this very strange, completely open from top to bottom section in the middle. My guess is that you can probably put additional mats or hanging rods. <laughs> Honestly, I have really no particular idea of what this is good for. If you have any ideas, please leave them down in the comment section down below. Um, and these additional straps you can see here that kind of connects to the regular hand straps are able to hold, say, a yoga mat, which I unfortunately don't have to demo, but you can see it in the product page what it will look like if you just put it on the side, which is definitely quite handy. Then at one of the ends of the bag, you have a dual zippered compartment to fit much larger items as a side. And on top of that is two mesh pockets for water bottles. However, I don't like how small these pockets are. I just kind of really had to struggle to put in my regular size water bottles. I have a little plastic water bottle here and then a regular metal container that I would think that most people would carry, if not even bigger bottles to the gym. And it was definitely a struggle to put these in. So I definitely would have preferred them just give me one bigger pocket as opposed to two small, almost non-functional pockets. On the other end is a giant, again, double zippered compartment. This is for your shoes. And because it's a shoe compartment, it digs into the main compartment. So keep that in mind in terms of space. Um, it's definitely a good size. I'm putting in a pair of basketball shoes here, as you can see. Um, what I would have preferred that this design would also have is some kind of mesh screen to the outside, similar to what you can find on the Under Armour duffel bag and a lot of other duffel bags, where it has you know, venting to allow smells and moisture out of the bag. But at least the lining of the shoe compartment is this waterproof material that doesn't absorb grime or moisture, so it makes it much easier to clean. And then the main compartment, which is also dual zipper, is just one big space to put your towel, your clothes, what other extra gear that you want in this bag. To carry it, there are two ways, first of which is by combining the two hand straps here via the Velcro, and you can just carry it like that. Or of course, you can use the attachable and detachable adjustable shoulder strap. And thanks to its sliding shoulder pad here, it's actually very comfortable to carry. 
Now, there are a lot of duffel bags, particularly in this size range, case in point, my Under Armour duffel bag. But the big selling point of this bag, again, is how lightweight and collapsible it is. So you can see right now, I am folding it down so that it can be re-zippered up into the small, uh, compact size. So it takes a little bit getting used to, but what you need to do is that you need to fold down the tops and bottoms of the bag into the middle and then fold inwards until you see that the zippers outlining the outside are lining up and then you have to zip it around. Now because I'm not a great packer and I don't have the patience to pack it more neatly, sometimes I do just leave the top portion unzippered and that way it also helps save the life of the zipper. I can imagine it's going to get damaged if you shove it too hard. So I kind of would have preferred that they would have went with maybe velcro straps or elastic straps to keep it in the collapsed form. That way you don't have to worry about the hassle of zipping it up and durability thereof. Now being so collapsible does come with some drawbacks in which there is no structure when it's empty or mostly empty. Unlike the product picture, unfortunately it's a little bit misleading. So that does mean that when it's empty, it's very difficult to put things in. It slides around and all of that. And the bottom has no additional support to prevent extra wear if it was being scraped or dragged along the floor. So that's definitely something of a concern. Of course, only time would tell if the material still holds up and I will update this review if there is substantial wear after a short period of time. But in general, I do really like what they're going after here in this particular duffel bag. It's very, very lightweight. That collapsible shape is definitely very handy. It's great for everyday and for travel. It's very affordable as well. Definitely check out the product link in the description. And because you guys are viewing my particular video, I've given you guys a discount code that you can apply towards this purchase. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have additional questions, just leave them in the comment section down below. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. Thank you for watching.